Hey guys, injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and I am on my way into the office on a weekend to do paperwork because, my goodness, being an injury lawyer means lots of paperwork. I think being all kinds of lawyer means lots of paperwork, but it seems to never end and it seems to back up. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I'm only going to have to work about six hours downtown this weekend. Probably bring a little bit of work to look at on Sunday too. But um, the topic of today's video is refresher course in what to do after an injury. Why do I say that? Well, it's getting cold out. I broke a cardboard box down on my way out of the house today and I never wear gloves. I don't know why. Um, I should really, I lost my, I had a nice pair of gloves and I lost them and I just never replaced them. And then I found an old cheapy pair of gloves and they started to rip, where, you know, where the thumb meets the palm on the glove the first time I wore them. So maybe they're a little too small. I need to just buy myself a good pair of gloves, but I digress. It's cold out. And when it's cold out, you know, there's a bunch of different things that change, right? The world changes. Your whole experience and routine changes when it gets real cold out. Why? Well, we have to worry more about car crashes. We have to worry about more about falls on ice and snow. And we have to worry more about even falls inside places. Um, you know, because we'll be spending less time indoor, uh, outdoors and more time indoors. And that probably includes places like restaurants or banquet halls or even stores. And so I thought I'd refresh the few things that everybody ought to be doing. Now, I know it's hard to think to do these things right after an accident or you or somebody you're with has an injury, but it's real important to do. The number one thing that you have to do, honestly, is get photos. So if it's a car accident, you gotta, you're gonna wanna get a photo of where the cars are, what damage there is to the cars. You're gonna want, if anybody's bleeding or hurt, you're gonna wanna take a picture of that too. So hard to remember to do sometimes. And you know, sometimes like I just talked to a lady last week who was taken from the scene by ambulance and all the vehicles were towed. So she literally had no opportunity to take any photos, but that's okay. It's always better to have them than it, you know, than to not have them. The next thing to do is always make a police report or an incident report if you can. Now, <clears throat> in a work injury case, your employer often isn't going to give you a copy of that stuff. And sometimes if you get injured on somebody else's property, like at a store, they'll do an incident report, but they don't want to give you a copy. That's when I encourage you to use your cell phone to make a, a photo, uh, make a picture of the copy. But even better than that is they have little apps that are free that you can download on your phone that is almost like a scanner. It turns your, your phone camera into a scanner and it scans the document into PDF. And uh, it's way more easy to read that way. Or if there's a police report, get the police report number and then you know we're able to order that for you real quick. And that's a good way for us to identify whether there were any witnesses, identify whether other people told the police or told the store manager anything. It also gives us information on insurance and who the corporate owners are. Like a lot of times, well, on a police report, you'll get the name of the driver, the name of the owner of the vehicle, and the insurance information, which is important if we're going to make a claim for you, right? But on, a, on an incident report, it'll sometimes have the true corporate name of the business or the claims company and their phone number or whatever. So that's good information to get. If you can't get an incident report, that's okay. It's important for us to get eventually, though. Um, what else? If you are hurt, go to the doctor and get checked out. Don't wait a couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks, a month or two and live with the pain and then walk into your, you know, you fall in January and then you go into the doctor at, uh, in March and say, Hey, in January I fell and I've been living with the pain for two months. Boy, that's going to make your, your injury case much harder to prove 
And it also, you shouldn't have to live with pain for 60 days. I know that, you know, medical care is expensive and even the co-pays and deductibles on my insurance plan, I can't believe how much money I pay for insurance and how big my deductible and copay and out of pocket are. It's ridiculous. Um, so, you know, I, I have a strong tendency myself to kind of avoid going to the doctor when I can, but after an injury, getting into a doctor and following up with a doctor, very, very smart, because one, you get one body in this life, and the sooner you get diagnosed and treated, the better you're gonna be, the faster you're gonna get better, right? The sooner you get treatment, the less chance of a complication that leaves you with some kind of permanent problem. And it also, you know, gaps in treatment, it, it just works out. Pardon me, it just works out that if we go in front of a judge and jury and there's a 60 day gap, no matter how we explain it, there's gonna be at least one or two people on that jury that's skeptical. And if they are skeptical about whether you really hurt or whether we're dogging it and trying to make a mountain out of a molehill, they're not gonna to wanna to give you very much money and there'll be holdouts on the jury or if it's just a judge making the decision, the judge will be like, look, you know, you're, you got a, you got a six week delay in getting medical care that's very suspicious. It's a hard case to argue, et cetera, et cetera. And it's true, it's true. Insurance companies know it and that's why on cases like that, they don't wanna make any big offers. So getting in to a doctor right away, very important. All of these things is, is it, you know, whether it's the middle of summer, I'm doing it now because it popped into my head that, you know, car accidents on ice and snow and falls on ice and snow, these are good reminders for you of what to do if, God forbid, somebody gets hurt. Um, you know, but it's good advice year round. But, you know, I just thought I'd mention it to you now because the seasons are changing. And one thing seems to be true in Chicagoland. The seasons are always changing. Sometimes it seems like the seasons are changing day to day. But anyway, those are the top three things I would say that you should do. Um, the last one is obvious. You know what I'm going to say. Get a free consultation with a lawyer to know your rights. I offer a free consultation at 312-500-4500. And uh, you can always reach me anytime, night or day. Happy to talk to you, answer your questions, even if you don't have a case. If you do have a case, I can sign you up. Lickety split, and uh, we can get the ball rolling for you. And in my office, you don't do the legwork. We do all the legwork. We get your medical records. We get the police report. We may call you because we need information. And if you have documents, we need that. And obviously, if you call, we'll answer your calls and answer your questions. It's a high priority at my office. But uh, it's kind of like you're on easy street a little bit. You give us a call, and then you're not dealing with these ingesters. You're not dealing with, we want a recorded statement. We're going to send you papers to sign. None of that, you know, none of that nonsense. So anyway... That's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I have to say today. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. If you would like to um, do me a favor, you could leave me a five-star review on Google. That would be very helpful. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, I have some really useful tools on my website. One is the case cash calculator. It tells you what your case might be worth. And then there's also the do I have a good case calculator, which is also pretty cool. Tells you in 15 seconds flat whether you might have a good case or a case with some challenges. 100% free to use on my website, on my website, waiting for you to use it. So by all means, feel free. And if there's anything I can do for you, you let me know. That's what I'm here for helping injured people, answering questions, providing excellent information that you will not get from anyone else. As far as I know, I am the only sort of inside baseball kind of lawyer out there. 
telling you the real way all of this stuff works. So, hope you enjoy. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Or if it's in the middle of the week when you're watching this video, I hope you have a great week. Hope you and your family are well. And give me a holler if I can do anything for you. 312-500-4500. Thanks and have a good one. Take care.